What's up guys, HBox here, and some interesting news in the world of platform fighters, specifically from Dan Fornis, who is the uh, lead developer or creator of Rivals of Ether. Uh, this clip you see right here, which has been shared many times on Twitter, is showcasing apparently the continuation in the series, which is, uh, you know, I would imagine, uh, you know, the next Rivals of Ether, the sequel, which is, you know, the obviously the huge huge selling point of this immediately seems to be the fact that uh, while, you know, it's still a, a, a platform fighter, it has 3D graphics now, akin to what Smash Bros. is, whereas the original Rivals was all uh, pixel art, which had a really nice feel to it, but just from this early clip that I'm seeing, this has, like, the similar amount of heart to it, while, you know, it looks like other ones, which are 3D fighters, which we're really used to right now, but it feels like it still has its own, like, persona to it, so just from that clip alone, I'm really excited to see what happens. Of course, uh, he gave uh, a big article here where he sort of goes into depth, a developer recap, and a preview of 2022. And, uh, you know, he had a Rivals Direct 3, um, and he had a lot of voice actors, which basically gave a really cool Rivals Direct. And, uh, of course, you can watch that on your own time on YouTube here, which is really, really exciting. Uh, showed everything they had in mind. And you have to remember that, um, you know, Dan, uh, he's not just uh, he's not just the involved in Rivals of Ether. He's involved in Creatures of Ether, Dungeons of Ether, Tales of Ether. There's a whole Lovers of Ether. There's a whole universe of the Ether series um, that Studios of Ether has created. And, um, you know, he hasn't limited himself to simply just fighting games. But it is really, really cool to see now with that recent update that he's going sort of back to uh, back to that focus. Um, and the cool thing also is that Rivals of Ether created like a sort of workshop where you could um, create your own characters in the game. Um, and have it your own personality. I saw people create like Fox from Melee in Rivals, and uh, you know the game itself. While it's very different from Smash Bros. because of aspects like uh, shielding, ledge grabbing, grabbing that sort of thing in general. Um, you know, no grab ledges. Um, you know, that's the main thing that Rivals used to pretty much set itself apart from Smash. Um, you know, but in Rivals of Ether 2, from what we're understanding here. Especially in this uh, in this update, it looks like there will actually uh, be shields. Um, so here's a cool screenshot of that shield um, from April 2021. Uh, so that's just really really cool. So a lot of Smash fans who were sort of maybe turned off by that uh, difference in the game, I'm sure will be very very happy to see this. Um, so. Of course, we have that, and we have that new clip of the game, which we've been seeing all over Twitter. Um, and it shows, I would say, if you want my opinion, it shows a level of polish that a lot of games, which are trying to be Smash, uh, can't even come close to. Like, this alone right here, and I've been playing Platform Fighter Smash for well over half my life at this point. This looks very, very good, just from that alone, so I'm very excited to see what happens. Um... Of course, also in this article, he, uh, you know, pretty much sets the pace for the game in 2022 because they're going to be hosting numerous circuits. Um, they're going to continue having really solid rollback online play, which is, you know, one of the one of the best parts um, about the game in general. This was in the first Rivals of Ether, a rollback open beta. Um, so the online play is going to be phenomenal. And of course, RCS... Uh, season 6, you know, utilizing uh, Smash GG, has all the standings, um, and they basically did put, uh, you know, a hybrid offline online schedule, including this great uh, Riptide tournament, which had Cake Assault. <laughs> it's a very iconic pop-up. <laughs> that guy's pretty good at this game, huh? He's, he's pretty good. <laughs> I think Pop was with the heart of every fighting game. <laughs> I love to see it. When the, I have a theory, the more passionate the Pop off in a game, the better the game is, because you got to put a lot of heart into a game to have that much emotion, right? Um, right. So they had Riptide there. Uh, he had Kick Assault dislocating his shoulder, um, but you know. In general, uh, this game, this maybe new Rivals game, is probably going to have integration with 
uh, massive tournaments already exist, like Genesis, for example. Um, and it's one thing that Dan has done a really good job, is integrating rivals alongside large Smash events to sort of celebrate platform fighters in general. Uh, we know there's a huge competitive community for Rivals of Ether, and I'm sure ROA 2, when it drops, is going to be uh, absolutely wild. And I think we're going to get more details on this game uh, in April of this year, from what I understand. Um, and one thing I want to point to mind is this. He said, Now, all these years later, we're going to another direction with our design goals. We want to pump each character with as much individuality and depth as possible. We want to expand characters' movesets and cram as many options in while still keeping the amount of buttons low. Shields and grabs fit into this paradigm because they allow us to create more depth and opportunities for expression with only adding a single new input for grab. Also, shield and attack shortcut. Our team has been resting our lowest since April. We've been building our content and designing features for our ideal platform fighters, including exploring partnerships to help us build the best game possible. So, uh, yeah, guys. I don't know. To me, we've been talking... Look, there's been a lot of buzz about so many games now. Um, of course, the early last year, the buzz was all about Nickelodeon All-Stars. And then, of course, Warner Bros. Multiverses got announced. And there's a lot of, you know, newcomers to the plate you know, stepping up that void that Smash is has left. I wouldn't say it's a void because uh, people are still playing that game in droves. In fact, I would argue that Smash Ultimate has its most flourishing moment right now as an esports. Phenomenal how that game is going. And of course, Melee is still very popular as well, competitively. But in terms of having new stuff added, you know, new characters, new additions to Smash, that part of the game is pretty much over until Sakurai decides... One day he wakes up and says he wants to get back to work, but as of right now, Smash is pretty much done in terms of new updates, apart from maybe a, a few patch fixes. So everyone who is a fan of Smash and platform fighters really wants to have a game that they can love, make content for, sort of achieve the same level of pleasure they had while playing Smash. And I really do think it's going to be not necessarily a giant studio, but more of an indie studio with a lot of heart that's going to be able to match that same feeling. And uh, yeah. This might be my favorite screenshot of the year right here. Because that shield, little uh, little hexagons all around. And of course, what looks like uh, a nice forward air being clanked on it. This feels like Smash to me. But you know what? It doesn't have, it doesn't have to be, uh, you know, like Smash. We don't have to use the phrase like Smash anymore. It would be cool one day to have us refer to things as, you know, this feels like rivals, right? And I think that with uh, enough of this planning and just the... The amount of work they've already put in with their initial game, you know, character, individuality, polish on the games, listening to the community, developer support, net code, online, all the things that you could want from a community, Dan and his team have really been putting uh, that much love and effort into. So very, very excited of what's to come, and uh, you guys should be too. So let me know what you think in the, in the comments. Of course, will you play Rivals of Ether 2? Are you more interested now that it feels or looks more so like a 3D platform fighter, aka Smash Bros? And uh, do you think this game will be the Smash killer we've all been wanting? I use that phrase a lot to the point where it's been memed, but memes are good. Don't forget that. Alright guys, as usual, stay hungry, and... Uh, Really excited to see where this goes, especially in April. It just looks sick, dude. Double jab reset? What is that? That's dope. Alright, I'll see you guys.